Hello, I'm Kelly and welcome to my FlossTube channel, Animal Instinct. It's Saturday the 2nd of September 2023 and I'm back with a cross-stitching update today. I have a little friend here, hopefully he's going to behave. <laughs> Here's Reggie, just chilling. He was just sitting nicely next to me, so we'll see how we go. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Um, I hope you're well and are enjoying your stitching. Thank you to all of my existing subscribers and welcome if you're new. So today I'm going to share all the stitching I've done since my last update, which was about a month ago. So kind of August stitching. I've had a, a fair month, I guess, stitch wise, um, but I've really enjoyed what I have done. So that's the main thing. <laughs> I've got a bit of everything today. I have an FFO, fully finished object. I have a freshly finished um, piece, which was a bit unexpected. <laughs> I've got some whips, um, a couple of new starts, and lots of plants. <laughs> so let's jump in. Now, starting with my woolly finished object, I got Pilgrim by Long Dog Samplers framed. Um, I don't get too many things professionally framed, but this one was a really special one for me. So um, had a had a good time. Uh, talking with the framer, trying to work out, you know, the best the best combination of frame and, and mat um, board and all of that kind of fun stuff. And we ended up going with a really simple, um, kind of like an understated, silvery, very simple frame um, that just really highlights the, the stitching. Um, when I went to pick it up, my mum sort of was with me and she kind of exclaimed because she'd seen the finished piece, but... Um, maybe hadn't taken so much notice but when when she saw it framed she said that she could pick out the the bits you know the individual animals and things like that more clearly so I don't have a photo um, sorry I don't have it with me today <laughs> is what I meant to say but I'm going to pop a photo in here so I'm absolutely thrilled with how it turned out um, she did a fantastic job she laces them um, the edges are really nice and straight. Uh, I like the border of just the cream fabric. Um, and then going into the frame, we did try a few different shades of sort of silver and this is the one that the green stitches really stood out. Um, and I was really chuffed when I dropped mum home that afternoon. I showed my dad and he was really taken by it, which surprised me. And we spent quite a bit of time uh, looking at it and, um, you know, looking at all the different animals. He wanted to know how many were there and got no idea. <laughs> um, the reason I don't have it with me is because it's currently on display at the Royal Adelaide show. Um, I did manage to enter one piece this year in the sample section. Um, so I'm going to the show, we just call it the show, <laughs> um, uh, later this week. I'm taking my niece and nephew again. I, I took them last year. They don't yet know. I don't think that they're going to be dragged along to the cross stitch section again. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing it and all the other beautiful um, pieces on display. A friend of mine has entered um, the, I think it's called pyrography section. Uh, she has etched um, beautiful artwork onto a big round wooden board, um, like burnt, burnt the art into it and it's just absolutely stunning. So I'm looking forward to seeing that too. Uh, I should have it back by next video. Yes. Um, so I'll show it. Um, I'll show it next time I film. But just based on my parents' reactions, I think it's going to go and live at their house um, for a little while on their wall because they really liked it, um, and that's fine. Fine by me. So that's my fully finished piece. Sorry, I don't have it here today, but um, hopefully I can show it to you next time. Uh, now on to my finish. I managed to finish my Owl Forest embroidery piece, the Bayon Cat. Um, I started this back in July 2021, so it's been on the go for about two years, but I barely touched it when I first started it. I don't even know if I stitched on it last year at all. Um, and I hadn't done much earlier this year either, but for some reason it just kind of gelled with me this time and I just carried on until it was done. So this is the finish. There we go. 
So it comes as a kit from our forest embroidery uh, with everything you need. So it's this, it's 32 count Zweigart linen um, and it's kind of a yellow, yellowish um, colour and it's printed so the back is plain. I don't know if that's really showing up. I don't think it is. Um, and all the beautiful variegated threads as well. I'm really happy with it. It's really, really quite lovely. Uh, if you know this piece, you might notice that there's something missing at the bottom. The pattern calls for a row of mice under those trees. Um, but mice aren't my favourite <laughs> animal in the world and I decided it was fine leaving them off. But I think that's really nice. Really happy with that. This is part of a series and I had previously stitched the monster whale. So I believe they are um, possibly villains from Russian folk tales, I think. Uh, and so, yeah, I stitched this one. Um, I can't remember when. A few, was it a few years ago? I can't really remember. <laughs> but it's the same fabric, same size, similar motifs, same threads as well. And that one was, I think this was the first one and it was really popular. I know there's at least two more in the series. So I think there's a, um, it's like a bird, like a raptor with like, you know, talons. And it's got, I think it's got a human baby head on it, which is just a bit, I don't know, creepy. <laughs> I'm not going to do that one. Um, but I did buy the dragon um, back when I, Back when I got, I think it was the cat, I might have got the dragon with it, can't really remember. Um, I don't know if you can access these kits from Australia anymore. I don't really know what the current state of affairs is because not long after I bought these, the postage went up quite a lot. This is a few years back now. Um, so I kind of stopped actively watching them so I, <laughs> or following them so I wouldn't be tempted because the postage was a lot. Um, so yeah, I don't know at the moment, but I thought I'd show you the kit as it came. So that is the dragon. Comes in a cardboard box. There is a QF, QF, QR code on the back. Um, and I think that takes you to a version of the pattern that you can use in Saga, which is a you know, an app where you can mark off your stitches. Um, I don't have Saga, so I'm not using that. I'm just using the paper paper pattern. Um, it comes with another piece of this fabric, same again. Uh, paper chart in colour, which is um, really easy to follow. It actually comes in two versions. One is just the standard chart over a couple of pages and the other is like sections of the chart that you can cut up and I don't really, I don't really understand <laughs> the point of that part of the pattern. Maybe to take it on the go and just have a small portion of the pattern with you. I'm not sure, but I, <laughs> I, I just like the normal pattern. Um, the threads come like this. So in skeins twisted like that and tied to a bobbin with the symbol on it. This is a thick cardboard bobbin with the symbol, um, but I just prefer to pop them onto the bobbins um, like this, which I've done. Blue, oops, I'm gonna drop everything. A few more colors. Yeah comes with a really strong needle minder and needle. Very nice. I really like the needle minders. Um, and the reason I'm showing you all of that is because I made a tiny little start. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. So I just found the middle and kind of stitched the central motif. So barely a start, but it, it started. So I'm not sure when I'll get back to the dragon. Um, if the cat's anything to go by, it might take me a while. Um, 
but uh, yeah, I love this. Really nice, really nice to stitch. Okay, but I'm not going to go into starts really just yet, <laughs> except for that one, um, because I have a few whips to share first. Uh, so when I left off last time, I was working on Sunny by Leilani Joy. This is Sunny. Um, Gecko Rouge kit that I started um, with Joe Belushi stitches on her birthday. Uh, it's so beautiful. And I can't quite remember where I was when I filmed last. But in August, I have some notes, people that like numbers, like me. <laughs> I worked on it for 12 days in August. I've just hit about 10,000 stitches on the whole piece, which is about 13%. And I finished the first two pages. So this is where it's at. Such pretty colours. I thought I'd be sick of the oranges and yellows, but I'm not at all. <laughs> Uh, it's on 18 count Ada using two strands of thread and I've reached her helmet and that's like some hair as well. So 13% I've done two pages there's about 16 pages so I've done about an eighth of it yeah which is 12 and a half percent so yeah I've just done just over um, an eighth. So there's two more pages across and then um, three, you know, three more rows down. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. Again, not quite sure when I'll pull it out again. I've got too many, too many whips. <sighs> too many. Anyway, that's all right. Uh, the next one I've worked on is Love by Danny Lizeth. Uh, this one from Gecko Rouge. This was my birthday start this year. And I only worked on it for three days and I put in about roughly 2,000 stitches and I've made it to 31.5%. Uh, you still can't see what I'm stitching. It's just swells of pretty colours still. <laughs> so it's on 25 count. Ugh forgotten I always forget this I think it's Stormy Skies by Zweigart it's printed so it's got the um, pattern on the front and it's just plain on the back 25 count one over one full crosses and what have I been doing I've been filling in this part here hang on I'll just see if I can come in a bit closer There we go. So I think the front of the kitten is sort of here. I don't have much to go and then it's, you know, then this will be blank. And then I'll work my way up. This is the back of the kitten's head. Um, let me get that picture again. Yeah, so I've done, I've done some of that swirl there. So I've kind of got, I've got a little bit in here to go and then, yeah, soon we'll be able to see that I'm actually stitching a cute little kitten, but not yet. Okay, my next um, whip that I've worked on this month is Cheers, it's my little Mill Hill kit. It's looking a bit worse for wear because it just lives in my handbag. I don't work on it that often, but occasionally I get the opportunity to pull it out when I'm out and about somewhere waiting for something. Um, this, oh, <laughs> like I said, worse for wear, but it's fine. So it's Cheers by Mill Hill. It's the perfect little travel piece, even with beads. I don't mind having the beads on the go. Uh, this is where it's up to. Yeah. So I'm almost finished. All I've got to do is, there's a C, H and part of an E. So I've just got 
ears and then it's done. So it's nice and sparkly. Yeah, it's been lots of fun. I've really enjoyed it and I definitely want to do more of these sorts of projects in the future. Uh, two more whips. Next one, I put a little bit of time into my Taj Mahal mandala um, chatelaine. I haven't worked on this much this year, um, but you know, slowly, <laughs> slowly but surely. I started this one in 2019, um, and I don't know, it's just the, like the slowest project in the world for no, no good reason whatsoever. Um, but let me show you where I'm up to. I'll see if I've got a photo of where it was before I started on it this month. Um, I'm not sure how many, I think I've added about a thousand stitches to it. So it's on 32 count Belfast linen, just black linen. And you can see the thread that I'm currently working with because it's tucked into the scroll frame. There we go. So I'm not going to take it off the frame because I'd like to keep working on this but um yeah I've added in all of this and I'm currently I need to do like a one stitch outline all the way around in this petite treasure braid ah oh, it's looking so good I love the um kind of pastel colors on the on the black fabric I think it just looks really nice And I think, um, I think I'm only between 10 and 20 stitches away from the top of the piece. So yeah, up here, above here, there's only 10 or 20 to go uh, till I reach the top. So slowly, <laughs> slowly but surely. All right, my last um, whip forms part of my plans. So we are in September and the last few years I have focused on my Firefly um, project in September. This is Firefly. Oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Would help if I hold it still. There you go. And slightly different focus I think this year than normal. Um, I'm not out to beat any records this month I just want to stitch on it regularly um, so I'm not really sure how far I'm going to get but I, it's going to stay out and I'm going to try and work on it most days I do want to work on other things too um, and I just haven't been stitching as much as I have in the last few years so I'm not going to put any pressure on myself I think I have a photo I think I took a photo yesterday on the first if I did I'll pop it in here um, I don't have the whole piece to show this time um, but I think I'll do a, like I've done in previous years, a weekly vlog and just do a little filmed update at the end of each week to show you sort of what I've done. Uh, but I did work on it because yesterday was the first, I did work on it yesterday and I put in 273 stitches. So not too many, but just, just fine. Um, and this is where it is now. So this is the Cat River. She looks a bit weird without... <laughs> without the you know bottom half of her face I really need to stitch that nose and mouth um, but I, last night I was working I think it was in this side filling in the cheek oh it's a bit blown out and that lighting but yeah I'm just basically I'm doing what I've done previously where I I just go in the top in the I'm stitching kind of row by row 20 stitch Row, like go by the lines which are 20 stitches deep and yeah I've just got a little bit oh it's really hard to see properly hang on above the nose and a little bit in here and then I can focus on this row and once that's done I'll come down to this one but I don't stick like I'll bring the thread down if it if it makes sense to do so so there's no <laughs> strict rules as you can see it's kind of all over the shop Yeah, she's looking good. Um, the whole piece I've done, I'm at 21.96%. And I just checked before, I'm at 163,696 stitches. 
out of 745,500 <laughs> in total. So this is going to be with me for many years to come. <laughs> um, but I look forward to next month showing you um, the weekly vlogs if I if I do that I think I will um, and then also where I've gotten to um, at the end of the month okay what else have I got here I've had another new start completely unplanned um, I just I've had it in my stash for ages like a few years now and I just it just spoke to me so I, I just had to start it <laughs> this is a bit of a different one for me um, and it's Nora Corbett, one of her intriguing insects. And I have started Miss Honeybee. So I had it completely kitted up with fabric, uh, all the DMC and all the beads. I've got bead, the embellishment pack. So I don't really know why I hadn't started this before. Um, and I bought a piece of... Um, it's a 32 count Jobelin. It's from Colour Cascade Fabrics. And it's called Gold Digger. That's the fabric. Ooh. That, that looks really gross. <laughs> it doesn't look like that. Interesting. Anyway. <laughs> looks like a... I don't know. It looks more like this. <laughs> uh, but I have enough to do this one and also the um, Miss Queen Bee as well. Like my bees. And so I made a start and really enjoyed working on it. I haven't spent too long and it's coming together really quickly. So I'm hoping it's going to show nicely. This is where I'm up to. so pretty a bit closer um this is crinic the rest is oh, and, and this bit the rest so far is dmc um i'm not sure if it's showing oh you're kind of seeing how shiny it is i cannot get a decent photograph um to show the shiny crinic but i think it's showing up there oh, i love it there's also some whisper threads some black whisper so I think pretty much all of this is black with a line of um, black fluffy whisper thread and there's a bit more. She's got like black cuffs here as well. But yeah, that is what the, yeah, that's a better representation of the fabric, um, which I think goes really nicely with the, um, with the pattern. So that's all my stitching for the last month <laughs> and now I've got plans. I've already mentioned Firefly so we'll be focusing on Firefly, um, seeing how far I can get. Uh, I'm having another start today. I'm really excited. <laughs> Once this is all done I'm itching to start this one. Uh, it's called Perfect Squares 1 and it's by Beautiful Stitches. You can find their Etsy store it's called my beautiful stitches and I think there's links in there to the web page where you can sign up for this um, project it's called a block of the month and it runs for four months starting today <laughs> uh, and uh, it's it's so nice so it's not cross stitch I don't actually know what you call it I think something like Oh gosh, canvas work embroidery or something like that. I'm going to pop a photo that I grabbed from the um, website in here just to give you an idea of the kind of stitching that's there, that's in it. Uh, it is a square and then it, there's 21 different sized squares within the square and there's a whole lot of different uh, stitches. So I'll show you what I'm going to be using um, to stitch this piece and then I'll just talk a little bit about it as well in case you're interested. So it's stitched on 24 count congress cloth which I haven't used before it's quite stiff um, 
I went with a white. So you can just source this yourself or she sells it too. She's got a uh, white, I think it was eggshell. And there was another like cre creamier color and then there was a brown. I think you can get black, you can get all sorts of different colors. I just went with white. Um, and then she sells silk colorways for it. Um, she dyes them herself. So again, on her Etsy page, they are so beautiful, but I have quite a few silks from when I was in the Silks For You um, monthly club a few years back. So I decided to use my own and she encourages you to be creative and sort of do what you like with it. So I'm just going to try and put these together so I can show you what I picked. So bear with me for a second. All right, this is very awkward. <laughs> but these are my silks. I started with um, a couple of variegated ones, which is what she suggested, a strongly variegated and not so. And then um, I just picked some complementary colors. So I've also got um, a navy blue and a darker pink that I think goes well with, with both of these. And then I wanted some more blues and then I kind of went into green and then I just wanted a pop of something bright, so I added in this kind of lemony yellow. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the... Oops! <laughs> Pots and navy that fell on the floor. That's going to be the colours I use. So the project... Um, I just had a look before. It was $60, which is, you know, quite a bit for a, for a project. Um, but definitely good value for money. Uh, the first pattern or the first release, I guess, has come out today and the instructions are beyond anything I've seen before. So, um, I guess, yeah, so the pattern's divided into four for the four months. So this month we're stitching a few of the blocks. She has a stitch guide, um, where she's got really beautifully illustrated, um, diagrams of how to do each of the stitches there's actually 91 different stitches in this from what it looks like which is a lot but I'm not worried because the instructions are fantastic so that's just kind of like its own little encyclopedia that you can refer to during it um, then you get the pattern for this this month's release and then you get really detailed notes as well about sort of what order to do things in and, and her suggested colors although she says you know if you don't like what I choose go your own way um, but then on top of all of that she also has video tutorials um, outlining how to do the stitches as well so yes $60 is a lot but I'm going to learn so much through this and um, yeah the the instructions are really fantastic quality I was really impressed so I was inspired to do this by Hooks, so Anne, um, Hooks on Instagram. Uh, Anne, I think you should start your own floss tube channel. Anne stitches lots of really great, interesting pieces. I think she'd be very entertaining to watch. So just putting that out there, Anne. <laughs> um, but Anne's done a couple of um, this designer's previous um, block of the months, previous years, and they're so beautiful. And she was talking about it and what do you know? <laughs> Next minute, um, I've joined up and Deb Wilson is doing it too. And we've all picked our own threads to use. I think we're possibly all using different colored fabric as well. Um, so I can't wait to see how these come together. Um, yeah, so hopefully next month I'll have some of that stitching to share with you too. I do have one other start planned for September. Um, hence the Firefly is my project, but it's not going to be my only <laughs> stitching this year. Uh, I'm not going to show that one today. I don't have it with me, um, but it's a really fun, fun project. And it's going to lead me nicely into October where I am planning to start more spooky themed pieces like I did last year. So yeah, lots of fun plans ahead for the rest of the year. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to lots of good stitching ahead. Thank you so much for watching today and until we meet again, happy stitching. See ya.